जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बाल गिरी कर गोपी जान बाल गिरी कर यशोदानंदन ब्रज जनरंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जनरंजन यमुना थेरा वन मन तेरा जय राज जय राज हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे दाय गोर हरि भो हरि भो हरि भो निताय को हरि भो जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 जय श्री प्रभुपाद नमा ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा बुद्धले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नमने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चात देश तारिणे
ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय So we're continuing our description of the different angas of devotional service. So हम भक्ति के विभिन्न अंगों पर चर्चा जारी रखेंगे. We began by describing about hearing, which was perfected by Parikshit Maharaj. तो हमने सबसे पहले दिन शुरुआत किया श्रवण की विधि से, जिसमें Parikshit Maharaj ने अपने जीवन की पूर्णता प्राप्त की श्रवण से. And from hearing, the next step in devotional service is chanting, and that was perfected by Sukadeva Goswami. Or Shravan ke baad, jo dusra vidhi hai bhakti ka, wo hai kirtan, aur kirtan se apne jivan ko perfect kya Shita Sukadeva Goswami ji ne. Then we had remembrance, which was shown to us by Prahlad Maharaj. Uske baad smaranam ki vidhi ka charcha kiya gaya. And after remembrance comes pada sevanam or serving the lotus feet, which we saw from the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi. So, उसके बाद हमने चर्चा किया पाद सेवन का, यानी कि भगवान के चरण कमल की सेवा, और जहाँ पे हमने देखा कि लक्ष्मी जी ने अपने जीवन की पूर्णता प्राप्त की. Then serving the lotus feet leads leads to archana or worshiping the form of the Lord. Which is shown to us by Prithu Maharaj. और उसके बाद भगवान के पास सेवन से आगे विधि है अर्चन की भगवान की आराधना करने की जो हमने हमें बताते हैं Prithu Maharaj. And from Archanam, next step is Dashyam or servitude, and that is shown to us by Hanuman. और अर्चन के बाद अगला विधि दासम और दासम में हमें so tonight we're going to speak on the next item, which is sakyam or friendship. So आज शाम को हम लोग sakyam यानि कि मित्रता के बारे में चर्चा करेंगे. And friendship that is taught to us by Arjuna, who was a very dear friend of Lord Krishna. और इस मित्रता का उदाहरण है अर्जुन, जो कि भगवान के बहुत प्रिय मित्र हैं. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes sa eva yam maya tedya yoga prokta puratana bhakto sime saka cheti yahasram ihet etad utamam. Lord Krishna says that very ancient science of the relationship with the Supreme is today told by me to you. Because you are my devotee as well as my friend, so you can understand it. So, यहाँ पर भगवत गीता में भगवान बताते हैं कि वो इतिहासिक विज्ञान भगवान और भगवान के भक्त के बीच के संबंध का उसके बारे में मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि आप मेरे भक्त हैं और आप मेरे मित्र हैं इसीलिए आप इस दिव्य ज्ञान को समझ पाएंगे. So we should understand that to Cultivate this sakyam or this type of devotional service in friendship with Lord Krishna is a very advanced level of devotional service. So, we can understand that this sakyam ki vidhi hai, which means Bhagwan se mitrata ka bhav hai, ye ek bahut hi utch kodi ka samband hai Bhagwan se. If you have not properly heard and chanted. Then you will never be able to cultivate friendship with Lord Krishna. अगर आपने अच्छी तरह से श्रवण और कीर्तन नहीं किया, तो कभी भी भगवान से मित्रता का भाव उत्पन्न नहीं कर पाएंगे. The root, the roots of devotional service come from श्रवणम और कीर्तनम by hearing and chanting. तो भक्ति की जो जड़े हैं, वो है श्रवण और कीर्तन. So Lord Krishna told Arjuna. That he was explaining to him the science of bhakti because Arjuna was qualified. He was both a devotee 
and a very intimate friend of Lord Krishna. Arjuna enjoyed friendship with Lord Krishna for many years. They used to associate together and discuss philosophy together. So Krishna speaking the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna was not the only time when Arjuna and Krishna discussed philosophy, but there were many occasions when they discussed philosophy. Of course, the Bhagavad Gita is very important because the Srila Vyasadeva included it in the Mahabharata. When he compelled Mahabharata, he also put Bhagavad Gita in there. So Lord Krishna explains this Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, but there are many other people who try to understand Bhagavad Gita and they put their own interpretation into the Bhagavad Gita. So Param Bhagavan Krishna Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna ko samjhate hain, lekin aise kai log hain jo Bhagavad Gita mein apna hi tark laga dete hain. There are many, many commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, and practically all of them are not proper. They have faults in them. Sometimes Srila Prabhupada would have some of his disciples go through different editions of Bhagavad Gita and point out all the mistakes and write to the author and tell him all the mistakes. Srila Prabhupada went to Switzerland in 1974. He was in Switzerland and he met with one man there, a Swiss man, who had written a commentary on Krishna's teachings. So Srila Prabhupada told him all the faults in his writing. So Srila Prabhupada ji, in 1974, he went to Switzerland, and there was a man who had written a book on Krishna's teachings, and he had written a book on Krishna's teachings. And Srila Prabhupada ji, when he met him, he told him that he had written a book on Krishna's teachings, and he had written a book. Sometimes people would say to Prabhupada, why did you write a commentary on Bhagavad Gita? There's already so many editions of Bhagavad Gita. Why did you have to write one? And Srila Prabhupada would tell them, because they've all written the Bhagavad Gita as they want it to be, not as it is. They give their own philosophy. They use Krishna's book to put their own philosophy. They don't present the real message of the Bhagavad Gita as Krishna taught it to Arjuna. So that is why Prabhupada, when he wrote his edition, he called his edition the Bhagavad Gita as it is because he was presenting it in the authorized fashion from the parampara. Other people, they simply write Bhagavad Gita as they want it to be or as they think it is. 
तो बाकी लोग भगवत गीता के ऊपर टीका लिखते हैं जैसे वो चाहते हैं या फिर जैसे वो सोचते हैं कि ऐसे होगा भगवत गीता दे आर नॉट प्रेजेंटिंग द एक्चुअल रियल मैसेज ऑफ भगवत गीता बट दे आर गिविंग देयर ओन फिलॉसफी तो वो भगवत गीता का सही जो संदेश है वो नहीं दे रहे बल्कि अपना ही उसमें तर्क लिख रहे हैं सो दैट इज नॉट डिवोटी दैट इज नॉट द फ्रेंडली वे टू डील विद कृष्णा तो ये कोई भक्त का बात नहीं है ये कोई मित्रता मित्रता के भाव में ऐसा कार्य नहीं किया जाता इन द भगवत गीता लॉर्ड कृष्ण डिस्क्राइब्स देयर आर ओनली टू नेचर्स देयर इज द दैवी संपद एंड असुरिक संपद वन इज इदर द डिवोटी और वन इज द डीमन तो भगवान भगवत गीता में बताते हैं दो ही तरह के स्वभाव हैं एक दैवी और एक डेमोनियर यानी कि असुरिक and if one simply presents bhagavad gita without the authorized in, in version of bhagavad gita simply present their own philosophy then that is demoniac to agar koi bhagavad gita pe apna hi vichar likh deta hai apna hi tika likh deta hai to wo vastav mein wo asurik hai agar wo pramanik stotra se nahi aa raha so we want want to understand what is actually the authority on the bhagavad gita that authority comes by hearing the message through the parampara to hame samajhna hoga ki bhagavad gita is sandesh ke liye kaun hai jo ki pramanik hai aur wo pramanik shiksha wo hai jo parampara se aati hai so arjuna was qualified as a great a very dear intimate friend of lord krishna अर्जुन इसके पूर्ण पूरी तरह से योग्य थे क्योंकि भगवान के बहुत ही घनिष्ठ मित्र थे एंड वी सी हाउ हाउ ऑल द पांडवस वर वेरी डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ कृष्णा और हम देख सकते हैं कि कैसे सारे के सारे पांडव भगवान के बहुत प्रिय मित्र थे व्हेन महाराज युधिष्ठिर वुड मीट विद लॉर्ड कृष्णा महाराज युधिष्ठिर वुड स्मेल द हेड ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा बिकॉज़ कृष्णा इज यंगर इन एज टू हिम द महाराज युधिष्ठिर परम भगवान कृष्ण से मिलते थे तो महाराज युधिष्ठिर उनके सिर को सूंघते थे क्योंकि महाराज युधिष्ठिर उनसे बड़े थे एंड लॉर्ड कृष्ण वुड टेक द डस्ट फ्रॉम द फीट ऑफ महाराज युधिष्ठिर और भगवान कृष्ण युधिष्ठिर जी के चरण का धूलि लेकर अपने सिर में लगाते थे एंड अर्जुन एंड भीमा वर सिमिलर एजेस टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण सो व्हेन दे वुड मीट दे वुड एम्ब्रेस ईच अदर बिकॉज़ दे आर इक्वल्स और अर्जुन और भीम जब ये भगवान से मिलते थे तो भगवान से गले लगाते थे क्योंकि वो एक ही जैसी उम्र के थे नकुल और सहदेव वो भगवान के चरण कमल का धूली लेकर अपने सिर में लगाते थे और भगवान उनके सिर को सुनते थे एंड दिस वे दी शो द फ्रेंडली रिलेशनशिप विद ईच अदर इस तरह से ये सब आपस में मित्रता के भाव को प्रदर्शित करते थे ऑफ ऑल द पांडवस ऑफ कोर्स अर्जुन इज द मोस्ट इंटीमेट फ्रेंड ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण सभी पांडवों में अर्जुन भगवान के सबसे घनिष्ठ मित्र हैं एंड वी सी हाउ मच लॉर्ड कृष्ण लव्ड अर्जुन सो मच सो दैट ही केम एज अ चैरियटियर ऑफ अर्जुन ड्यूरिंग द बैटल ऑफ कुरुक्षेत्र और हम देख सकते हैं कि भगवान अर्जुन से कितना प्रेम करते हैं इतना प्रेम करते हैं कि महाभारत के युद्ध में भगवान उनके खुद सारथी बनते हैं डिफरेंट टाइम्स लॉर्ड कृष्ण वुड सेव अर्जुन व्हेन ही वाज इन डेंजर और अलग अलग समय पे जब भी कभी अर्जुन के ऊपर कोई खतरा होता था तो भगवान स्वयं उनकी रक्षा करते थे जस्ट लाइक वन डे ग्रैंड फादर भीष्मा हैड वाउ दैट इदर ही वुड किल अर्जुन और लॉर्ड कृष्ण वुड ब्रेक हिज प्रॉमिस जैसे कि एक बार भीष्म पितामा ने ये प्रतिज्ञा कर लिया कि या तो वो अर्जुन का वध कर देंगे या फिर कृष्ण को अपने वचन को तोड़ना पड़ेगा सो इट हैपेंड दैट एट वन पॉइंट इन द बैटल ग्रैंड फादर भीष्म वाज फाइटिंग वेरी फिरोशियसली एंड अर्जुनस चैरियट गॉट इन डिफिकल्टी एंड वन ऑफ हिज व्हील्स ऑफ द चैरियट केम ऑफ तो एक बार ऐसा हुआ युद्ध के दौरान कि भीष्म पितामा बहुत ही जोर से युद्ध कर रहे थे और अर्जुन के ऊपर लगातार वार कर रहे थे और अर्जुन का जो रथ है उसका एक पहिया टूट गया एंड भीष्म वाज कमिंग रेडी टू किल अर्जुन और भीष्म जो है अर्जुन को मारने के लिए बहुत तेजी से आ रहे थे एंड एट दैट मोमेंट लॉर्ड कृष्ण हैड टू रन 
pick up the chariot wheel and ran towards grandfather Bhishma. Now Lord Krishna had vowed that he would not fight in the battle, but he broke his promise. He broke his promise not to fight because he thought protecting his devotee Arjuna is more important than his own promise. Try to understand how dear Arjuna had his, in his relationship, how dear their relationship was. So Lord Krishna broke his promise just to protect Arjuna. And then there was another time with Jayadrat that Jayadrat had been responsible for the death of Abhimanu. So Arjuna vowed that tomorrow I'm going to kill Jayadrata or I will give up my own life. So and so the Kauravas were protecting Jayadrat because they thought, oh, it would be very good. Arjuna will have to give up his life if he can't kill Jayadrat. So the Kauravas gave a lot of attention to protect Jayadrat. So Sabi so it was almost at the end of the day and the Kauravas were thinking, yeah, we have protected Jayadrata, Arjuna will have to give up his own life. So Sandhya ho gai, lagbag din khatam hi ho raha tha, aur Kauravas ne socha, so then it appeared that the sun had set and they all relaxed, but then the sun rose again by the grace of, by the power of Krishna. He arranged that sun rose again at that moment. Krishna told Arjuna, now's your chance, kill Jayadrat. So, so that is real friendship. The Lord cares so when one the Lord cares when or when you care so much for someone that you will you will have do everything you can to protect them and to help them. So Bhagavan ka is tarase mitrata tha Arjun ka jab aap kisi se itna prem karte hain to phir kisi bhi tarah se unka hit mein unki suraksha ke liye kar kuch bhi karne ke liye taiyar hote hain There was another incident which happened in Dwarka Arjuna had come to Dwarka and at that time a brahmana who lived in Dwarka had come to the palace at Dwarka to complain because his wife had given birth to a child, but the child died at birth due to miscarriage. So, so in the Vedic society, if a woman has a miscarriage, the husband can go to the government, can go to the ruler and complain that this is your fault. You have not protected my wife. So Vedic society, just look how degraded we have become in the Kali Yuga. People go for abortions. They don't worry about trying to save the child. They go to kill the child. Uh, 
But in the Vedic culture, if a couple were blessed with a child, they very much wanted the child and to come, to give birth to the child and to raise the child. So this Brahmana had come to the palace and complained that my wife had a miscarriage. You Kshatriya kings, you're not doing your duty. You're not protecting my child. So at that time Arjuna was there. And when Arjuna heard the Kshatriyas being insulted, he told the Brahmana that I am a Kshatriya and I promise you that when your wife next gives birth to a child, I will protect the child. And if I cannot protect the child, then I'm ready to give up my life. So the Brahmana believed Arjuna and he went away and after some time he came back and said, you know, my wife is conceived again and she's ready to give birth. So you please make sure you're there to protect my child. So Brahman the Brahmana told Arjuna, he said, my wife's already mis given, had miscarriage several times before and all of the children died at birth. I want to make sure this child is safe. So Brahmana Arjuna told Arjuna that my wife and Arjuna said, no problem, I will be there. I'll be make sure that nothing will happen. No, no misfortune will happen to your child. But again, when the, the Brahmana's wife gave birth to the child, Again, they found that, again, miscarriage, the child was dead. So the Brahmana was furious and he told Arjuna, what is this? Look, you promised me you were going to protect my child. So Arjuna was in a very difficult situation because he promised to give up his life if he could not protect. So fortunately, Lord Krishna was there at that time. And Lord Krishna told Arjuna, you come with me, let's go and get the Brahmana's children back. So Arjun was so Lord Sri Krishna is the omniscient Supreme Lord. He knows everything and he knew what was happening. So he told Arjuna, you come with me, we will go and bring back the Brahmana's children. So Lord Krishna got his chariot out and Arjuna and Krishna got on the chariot and on that chariot they went through the coverings of the universe. The universe is like an egg, like a gigantic egg, and there are coverings, there are eight coverings over the universe. 
you get the different elements. You have earth, water, fire, air, like that. These different, and each layer gets thicker, ten times more than the next one. So, it's my joy. Alaglag parat hai, Prithvi, Vayu, Jal, Ityadi, or as it, as it, har ek jo star hai, wo pichle star se dus guna jada bada hota jata hai. So, to go through the coverings of the universe was very dark. Lord Krishna had to release the Sudarshan Chakra to light up everything and to make space so their chariot could go through and enter through the covering of the universe into the Kajyo ocean. So, Brahmand ke ye jo alag alag staron ko chirte huye, Bhagawan, kyunki wahan pe bhoat andhakar tha, to Bhagawan ko apne Sudarshan ko aage laye, or Sudarshan se rasta bana, or roshni hua, or uske, us maar par wo rat chalta hua, causal ocean tak pohanta. And they entered into the Kajyo ocean and they went to the abode of Maha Vishnu, or also known by the name Karana Dakashayi Vishnu, where Lord Maha Vishnu is laying on the bed of Ananta Shesha. And when they they went to see Mahavishnu. They found out that Mahavishnu was responsible for taking away the, the wife, the Brahmana's wife's children at the time of the birth. He was taking away the children because he wanted that Lord Krishna would come there to see him. So, Lord Mahavishnu also desires to see Lord Krishna, indicating that Lord Krishna is the original Supreme Lord and Lord Mahavishnu is his expansion. And, and it, this pastime also indicates to us how much Lord Krishna cares to protect his devotees like Arjuna. So they went there into the Karana ocean, they brought back the Brahmana's children and they showed the children to the Brahmana. Brahmana was happy. So Arjuna enjoys that very intimate friendship with Lord Krishna. But there are different, there are many other friends of Krishna, just like Lord Krishna has his friends in Dwarka, as well as his friends in Vrindavan. Arjuna, he's more Hastinapur. He doesn't really go much to Dwarka. Sometimes he will go there to visit Lord Krishna. Krishna's in Dwarka, he lives in Dwarka with the Yadu dynasty and the most prominent member of the Yadu dynasty who is the most dear to Krishna is a person called Uddhava. Uddhava uh, Udhav is a disciple of Brihaspati. He's very educated, very enlightened, and he's a very dear devotee of Lord Krishna. So Udhav jo hai Brihaspati ke shishya hai, aur bohat hi jada vidwan hai, bohat vidwata hai, aur param bhagwan ke param mitra hai. Uddhava was such a devotee that he had achieved Swarupya Mukti. His bodily features resembled Lord Krishna. And Uddhava would always wear 
the old clothes of Krishna. He would wear the flower garland of Lord Krishna. And in many ways, he looked just like Lord Krishna. So he's secretary of Krishna. We spoke yesterday about Daruka. Daruka is a servant of Krishna. He would be the charioteer for Krishna. But Uddhava is a friend of Krishna. Friendship is a higher relationship than being the servant. So servant they will, when they're told to do something, they'll do it. Just like Hanuman, he always waits for the order from Lord Ramachandra to do service. But when you have friendship, then there's more natural desire to serve without even being told that you want to do something for the pleasure of your friend. So Uddhav had, Uddhav had this relationship with Lord Krishna, that Lord Krishna would often ask his advice. What do you think? What should we do? So Uddhav Ji ka Bhagwan se esa sambhan tha prem ka, ki Bhagwan unse sala lete te hamesha, Lord Krishna would ask Uddhava, what should we do? Maharaj Yudhisthira wants us to go to Hastinapur to take part in the Rajasuya Yagya. But there are there are many, there's there's uh, thousands of kings being held prisoners by Jarasandha, and they're asking for help. What should we do? And Lord Krishna would ask Uddhava, what do you think? What should we do? Just like Srila Prabhupada would sometimes talk to the devotees and he would say, what should you do? What should we do? What do you think we should do? Srila Prabhupada was not against taking advice and hearing from the devotees. Actually, the relationship between the spiritual master and devotees is also one of friendship. The, the, the spiritual master is the friend of the devotees. Devotees think of the spiritual master as their friend. But just as Krishna and Arjuna were friends, still, Ar uh, uh, rather not Arjuna, but uh, Uddhav, Uddhava was a friend of Lord Krishna, but at the same time, he always maintained respect for Lord Krishna. Uddhava would never sit on the same level as Lord Krishna. They go together, they go to visit different devotees, they go different places, and they would offer seats. And even they gave Uddhava a seat on the same level as Krishna. Uddhava would not accept that seat. He would sit on the floor beside Lord Krishna. So 
तो उधर भी उसको स्वीकार नहीं करते थे वो नीचे बैठते थे परेश्वर सो वाइल देयर वाइल देयर वाज फ्रेंडशिप बिटवीन कृष्ण लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड उद्धवा स्टिल उद्धवा ऑलवेज शोड रिस्पेक्ट मेंटेन रिस्पेक्ट तो हालांकि मित्रता का का भाव भी था उद्धव और कृष्ण में लेकिन उद्धव जी हमेशा एक आदर बना के रखते थे भगवान के बट लॉर्ड कृष्ण इन वृंदावन इज अ डिफरेंट लीला because the cowherd boys in vrindavan they just think of krishna as equal they're just such their friend their friendship is on the same level of as each other lekin vrindavan mein ye jo mitrata ka bhav hai ye thoda alag hai vrindavan mein jo bhagwan ke gop sakha hai wo bhagwan ko apne hi barabar samajhte hain ek hi jaisa to wahan par jo mitrata ka bhav hai wo ek hi star par and you see the cowherd boys how they play with krishna they climb on krishna's back and their feet touch krishna that it's all play they're just enjoying playing with krishna aur ye jo bhagwan ke gop saka hain ye har tarah ka khel bhagwan ke sath karte hain kabhi bhagwan ki kamar mein chadte hain kandhe mein chadte hain aur kabhi unke paon bhagwan ko lagte hain And, and sometimes they will take Krishna's food and they they will pass it to each other and they will hide it. But kabi kabi Bhagwan ka bhojan usko idhar udhar ek dusre ko de dete the ya fir usko chupa dete the. In this way, they they have the greatest friendship. They, there's no question of respect between the cowherd boys. They they're just friends with each other. They're all equals. तो उनका भगवान से बहुत बड़ा बहुत ही घनिष्ठ मित्रता का भाव है वहां पे कुछ आदर वगैरह की बात नहीं है वो सारे एक बराबर है बट द वंडरफुल थिंग अबाउट द काउहर बॉयज व्हाट द व्हाइल दे थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा एज इक्वल बीइंग इक्वल दे नो दैट व्हाटएवर हैपेंस टू देम कृष्णा विल प्रोटेक्ट देम लेकिन ये जो गोप सखा थे भगवान के लिए एक विशेषता थी कि भगवान में इतना उनको मित्रता और विश्वास था कि कहते थे कि कुछ भी हो कुछ भी स्थिति हो उनको पक्का पता था कि कृष्ण मेरी रक्षा करेंगे एंड यू सी दैट व्हेन फॉर एग्जांपल द बिग डीमन अग्गा अग्गा सूर केम टू वृंदावन एंड अग्गा सूर इज अ लाइक मॉन्स्टरस ह्यूज serpent many miles long and he came there in this huge form and he opened his mouth and there's a big snake and he opened his mouth open wide and there was this horrible smell coming out from the inside of the snake so iska ek udaharan hai ki ek bar vrindavan mein bahut bada bahut hi bada vishal kai mil lamba और सर्प अगासुर असुर के जो असुर था वो सर्प के रूप में अगासुर के रूप में आया और उसका बहुत ही बड़ा मुंह था और उसके मुंह से इतना ज्यादा बदबू आता था सो द काउहर बॉयज वर लुकिंग एट दिस अगा एंड दे वर थिंकिंग वो हु हु इज दिस वेयर डिड दिस स्नेक कम वी नेवर सॉ दिस बिफोर तो ये जो भगवान के गोप सखा थे उन्होंने जब अगासुर को देखा बोले ये कौन है इसको तो कभी देखा नहीं हमने क्या है कोई Actually, Agasura was one of Kamsa's friends. King Kamsa's friends. They they were demons, and they could all take these demonic forms. So, in the same way, Agasura was Kamsa's friend. They were Asura, and these Asura people could take different forms. Actually, Putana, the witch who came to kill baby Kamsa, was Kamsa's friend. She was Putana. 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 She was Putana जो जो भगवान को मारने आई थी अपने स्तनों पर विष लगा के वो उसके दो भाई थे अगासुर और एक बक्सासुर व्हाट अ नाइस फैमिली है क्या अच्छा परिवार है सो अगा वाज लेइंग देयर विद हिज माउथ ओपन एंड ब्रीथिंग इन दिस हॉरिबल अरोमा इज कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द इनसाइड ऑफ द स्नेक and the cowherd boys are looking that oh they thought the snake it's his mouth is like a big cave and they thought let's go inside we can play in there so agasur ka bahut hi bada muh khula hua tha aur saans le rahe the zor zor se aur unka saans bahar jab aata tha to itna badbu aata tha andar se aur jo bhagwan ke gop sakate sare 
उन्होंने देखा है बहुत बड़ा सांप है इनका जो मुंह है ये तो एक गुफा की तरह है तो हम चलते हैं इस गुफा में थोड़ा खेलते हैं but of course they were thinking well there there may be some danger there you know if we go in there do you think there will be any danger but then they thought well anyway krishna is there krishna will protect us so jab wo andar ja rahe the to unke mann mein ek baar vichar aaya ki ye kuch khatra bhi ho sakta hai yahan pe hum andar ja to rahe hain lekin jaise vichar unse are are krishna hai na apne saath so this is the friendship which the cowherd boys enjoy with krishna to ye aisa mitrata hai jo bhagwan ke gop sakha unse aanand lete hain they know krishna is there krishna is going to protect us unko pata hai ki krishna hai krishna hamare raksha karenge har tarah one of the items there are six items of one who is surrendered to krishna and one of the items is to know that only krishna can protect us to jo sharnagat hai sharnagat ke jo 6 lakshan hai usme se jo ek lakshan hai ki wo ye jante hain ki keval krishna hi meri raksha kar sakte hain we don't think of anyone else for protection but lord krishna और कोई भी ऐसा नहीं है जिसके ऊपर हम आश्रित रहते हैं अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए केवल कृष्ण सो द काउ हर बॉयज डिसाइडेड टू गो इनटू अगस्त माउथ एंड कृष्ण वाज वाचिंग एंड कृष्ण वाज थिंकिंग ओह नो हाउ वंडरफुल द मटेरियल एनर्जी इज तो ये सारे गोप सखा जो है भगवान के अगासुर के मुंह में घुसे जा रहे थे और कृष्ण जो है वो देख रहे थे मुस्कुरा रहे थे कह रहे थे कि भौतिक प्रकृति कितनी विचित्र है माया इज सो अमेजिंग और ये माया इतनी प्रभावशाली है कि इस असुर को इतना बड़ा एक सर्प का रूप धारण करने के लिए दिया है अनाद कावर बॉयज गॉन इन टू द माउथ ऑफ अगा और अब ये सारे मेरे दोस्त जो है what are we going to do what to do so krishna decide i will also i also have to go in the cowher boys have gone in there i will have to go in also so bhagwan ne kaha ki ab kar kya sakte hain ye sab andar chale gaye mujhe bhi jana padega so when krishna walked into the mouth then agasura closed his mouth aur jab jaise hi krishna agasura ke muh mein ghuse so then krishna expanded himself aur phir bhagwan ne apne aap ko vistarit kar liya and he expanded himself so big that agasura choked aur wo itna bade ho gaye bhagwan apne sharir ko bada karte gaye ki agasura ka gala jam ho gaya and all the cowherd boys and krishna they all came out from the mouth of agasura aur krishna aur unke sare gop sakha phir agasura ke muh se bahar aa gaye and the body of agasura they kept it there in braja and they would play with it they would climb on it and go inside and it became a a, a playground for the people of braja aur jo agasura ka bada sharir tha wo unke liye ek khel mein khel ka maidan jaisa ban gaya uske upar chadte the kudte the niche utarte the so this is friendship between krishna and the cowherd boys तो ये कृष्णा और भगवान के गोप सखाओं के बीच में ये मित्रता है द काउ हर बॉयज आर सो मच अटैच टू कृष्णा दे हैव आल्सो द मूड टू सर्व कृष्णा ऑल्दो इट अपीयर्स लाइक दे आर गिविंग ट्रबल टू कृष्णा इट्स ऑल प्ले एंड इट्स फॉर कृष्णास प्लेजर तो ये जो ये जो सखा है भगवान के ये हालांकि ये सब खेल खेल कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये असल में भगवान को सेवा करना चाहते हैं और भगवान को आनंद प्रदान करना चाहते हैं। सो विद इन द रासा ऑफ बीइंग फ्रेंड ऑफ कृष्णा देयर इज आल्सो द मूड ऑफ बीइंग सर्वेंट ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा तो मित्रता का ये जो रस है इसके अंदर दासे का भी रस छुपा है सो बीइंग अ फ्रेंड ऑफ कृष्णा दिस इज ओनली फॉर पीपल हु हैव कम टू दैट लेवल ऑफ राग भक्ति दे आर ऑन दैट लेवल ऑफ spontaneous devotion to krishna to ye mitrata ka bhav bahut uch star ka hai aur keval jin bhakton ne raag bhakti ke star pe pahunch gaye hain wo is ka na le sakte they want to you want to become krishna's friend first you have to become krishna's servant and you have to cultivate service by hearing and chanting to aapko bhagwan ka mitra banna hai pehle aapko bhagwan ka das banna hai और भगवान का दास बनके इस भक्ति को 
दृढ़ करना होगा श्रवण और कीर्तन की विधि से सो दिस सख्या रास and being the to be the friend of lord krishna this is shown to us by arjuna his nice friendship with krishna to ye jo sakhya ka bhav hai bhagwan ke sath mitrata ka bhav arjun hame dikhate hain are there any questions aapke koi prashna hai चाहते थे कि कृष्ण वहां पे आके उनको मिले इसलिए वो ये सारा ये कर रहे थे उनके ब्राह्मण के बच्चों को तो ये कोई क्या ही अच्छी बात है कि भगवान विष्णु कृष्ण तो आदि पुरुष हैं तो तो विष्णु जी को हमसे मिलने जाना चाहिए तो उन्होंने कृष्ण को अपने पास क्यों बुलाया यस महाविष्णु ऑफ कोर्स ही हैज दिस ह्यूज फॉर्म ही कैन नॉट जस्ट गो टू मीट लॉर्ड कृष्ण सो इजीली लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज प्लेइंग द पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ अ ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन in this world he's appearing in a human form he's appearing like an, or an ordinary person but mahavishnu is in the karana ocean so while he could take away the brahmana's children by his mystic potency it is not so easy for him to just come and meet lord krishna so mara godare ki mahavishnu a bahut hi vishal de ke sath karana sagar mein wo lete hain और भगवान कृष्ण जो है एक साधारण ग्वाले के रूप में लीला कर रहे हैं तो भगवान के लिए वहां भगवान विष्णु के लिए वहां पर जाकर कृष्ण से मिलना ये उतना सुविधाजनक नहीं है इतने बड़े विशाल शरीर को लेके और वहां से जाना तो कृष्ण वहां पे आते हैं तो लॉर्ड कृष्ण अंडरस्टैंडेशन डिंग टू ब्रिंग अर्जुन विदेशन for arjuna to go there to the karana ocean and see lord mahavishnu and to see everything in the kosho ocean to krishna jo hai itna bura nahi mante wo acha hai wo arjun ko saath mein ek tour pe le jate prashikshan dete hai ki kaise kahan pe mahavishnu hai kaise jaate hai and it, and it shows how lord krishna could bring back the brahmana's children from that kosho ocean bring them back to dwarka aur isse pata chalta hai ki kaise bhagwan jo hai us karan sagar se un bachcho ko wapas leke aate hain so that is the supreme power of lord krishna nobody else could do that ye param bhagwan ki param shakti hai aur koi nahi kar sakta it's an important past time it's there in the 10th canto shrimad bhagavatam ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण लीला है भगवान की और श्रीमद भागवतम के प्रश्न और इफ यू रीड द कृष्ण बुक द कृष्ण बुक ऑल्सो द कृष्ण बुक इज द टेंथ कैंट ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम सो दिस पास टाइम इज नरेटेड देयर बाय शुक देव गोस्वामी और अगर आप कृष्ण पुस्तक भी पढ़ते हैं तो उसमें भी यह है क्योंकि कृष्ण पुस्तक जो है श्रीमद भागवतम के प्रश्न स्कंद का ही एक रूप है और वहां पर शुकदेव गोस्वामी इसकी and you can get a lot of uh, information more detailed understanding of why this event took place there in the commentary there in the presentation of this past time aur jab aap is leela ko padhoge to iske vistar se aap samajh paoge ki ye sara ghatna kyu hua okay
लेकिन हमारे ऊपर विचार ये आता है कि भगवान हमको इतना ही कुछ बनाया कि हम दान कर सकते तो महाराज ऐसा विचार मन में आना चाहिए तो महाराज प्रोजी से दैट वन शुड डोनेट ए पार्ट ऑफ हिस इनकम फॉर कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस बट आई व्हेन द माय द थॉट दैट कम्स टू मी इज दैट आई हैव कृष्णा हैज नॉट गिवन मी दैट एबिलिटी एंड दैट मच मनी दैट आई कैन डोनेट सो हाउ शुड आई सी दैट वेल कोलोबेका श्रीदार यू नो कोलोबेका श्रीदार वाज आल्सो अ वेरी पुअर पर्सन he only had a few banana trees and his income was whatever he could earn by selling some banana cups to aap jante hain chaitanya mahaprabhu ke bhakt the kola vichar shridhar aur unke paas kuch kele ke ped the aur usi se hi kuch patte aur kele bechte the jisse unko bahut hi choti si aamdan hoti thi but every day he would spend 50% of whatever income he had he must spend 50% for the worship of mother ganga लेकिन इतना गरीब होते हुए भी जो भी कमाते थे रोज उसका पचास परसेंट गंगा मैया की सेवा में लगाते थे सो यू से यूर नॉट एबल टू गिव एनी थिंग फॉर द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा देन यू शुड गिव समाइम फॉर द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा अगर आप कहते हैं कि मेरे पास ऐसा स्थिति है कि मेरे पास धन नहीं है मैं कृष्ण की सेवा में नहीं दे सकता हूँ तो आपको अपना समय देना चाहिए कृष्ण की सेवा में best is you give your life sabse acha hai ki aap apna jeevan de dein krishna ko if you're not willing to give your life then you should give your wealth par agar aap apna jeevan nahi de sakte to apna dhan dijiye and you say no i can't you're saying no i can't give my wealth either so then you should give your intelligence for the service of krishna par agar aap kehte hain ki main apna dhan bhi nahi de sakta bhagwan ki seva ke liye to aapko apna vivek But, but you'll probably say no. I don't have a good brain either. I'm not very intelligent. Or you can say, "Ab ye bhi kaho ki mere itna dimag bhi nahi hai mere paas." So, so then give your words. Use your words for the service of Krishna. So, apne shabd shabdo ko istemal kijiye Bhagwan ki seva ke liye. Chant the holy name. Hari naam ka jab kijiye. And do that service for Krishna. So yes, Siva Bhagwan, I accept you. And if you don't do that, then you're. <laughs> But if you won't chant Hari Krishna either, then you're rascal. Or if you say that I can't do Hari Krishna, then you're a murk. Not murk, rascal. <laughs> Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> Best is you give your life. So, the best thing is to give your life to Krishna. Give your life to Krishna. You're already old. How much men? How many years have you got left? आप पहले ही बूढ़े हो गए हो. कितनी उम्र बची है आपकी? अच्छा <laughs> It can be the worst, also. 
You think you're Grihasta? You, I think you're Grihamedi. Grihasta is a spiritual ashram. So Maharaj said that you think you're Grihasta, I think that you're Grihamedi. You're not giving anything for Krishna. You don't want to give any money. You don't want to give your life. You don't want to give any money. You're not giving any time. What are you doing for Krishna? You're saying you're Grihastha. Grihastha is a spiritual ashram. So, how would, where is your spiritual, where, what is your spiritual practice? So, are you worshipping Krishna at home? Yes. And so, you have to spend your money for that. You may not give your money here, but you spend your money there for, to worship Krishna at home. Sometimes you should also invite people to your home and give them prasadam. You worship Krishna at home, you offer food to Krishna, so that food should be distributed not only to your family, you should distribute to others. Then it's spiritual ashram. You live in the home to make spiritual advancement. Not to become more attached. And the success of the Grihastha Ashram is when you move out of the Grihastha Ashram to the next Ashram. Right? Are you 50 yet? So, are you Vana Prast yet? <laughs> you're not Grihast anymore. Your Grihast is over. Now you're in the next ashram. There, yeah, your your days are over in that Grihastha Ashram. Now you're Vanaprastha. So Vanaprastha means full time de devotion, spiritual practice. And you should come here, do service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My children are yet studying Maharaj. How many years do you need? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you better get ready. Five years. <laughs> Prabhupada would let the children take care. The, just like Prabhupada, he had also a daughter not yet married. He said, Krishna will arrange. <laughs> So, your children's education, Krishna can arrange. 
How long can you stay there? You should tell your children, I need to devote myself more fully now. You have to take care of your own education. <laughs> that education is all useless knowledge anyway. Let your children come here and get education. <laughs> anyway, you say five years, so we will see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Manager. Who will protect me? So she Krishna. says that you, you are you are telling Maharaj that Krishna will protect us, but um, I, I don't feel I'm so qualified that Krishna will protect. So इनका प्रश्न है कि आप Maharaj बता रहे कि Krishna आपकी सुरक्षा करेंगे हर एक स्थिति में, लेकिन मैं भी तो योग इतना योग्य नहीं हूँ कि Krishna मेरी मेरी सुरक्षा क्यों करे? Well, you try to protect yourself. You try to find some other means to protect yourself. You will never be successful. Whatever you try to protect yourself, you can't protect yourself from old age. You cannot protect yourself from disease. You cannot protect yourself from death. So, Maharaj is telling me that if Krishna leaves you, if you are trying to protect yourself from any way, then you will not be able to protect yourself. You will not be able to protect yourself from any way. So you, you, you have to think of, you have to be moving towards Krishna. You say, you don't feel that I'm so pure, Krishna may not protect. You have to become more pure, you have to become more surrendered to Krishna and more worthy of his protection. The more we surrender, then the more Krishna will help. You move a little towards Krishna, Krishna will move so much more towards you. So we have to make some arrangements to try to move in the direction of Krishna. We need to get that shelter of Lord Krishna. You, we should understand it's very important. Nothing else can ever protect us. Uh, Marit, the question is, what should be the duties of a husband as a Krishna conscious devotee? So, ek Krishna, Krishna Bhavana mein pati ka kya jimewari hai? So, the duty of a Krishna conscious husband is to keep their family in Krishna consciousness. So, ek Krishna Bhavana Bhavit pati ka jimewari hai ki apne parivar ko Krishna Bhavana Bhavit rakhe. And they have, he has to be an example also. He should be Krishna conscious himself. And that's why he should inspire his family also in Krishna consciousness. He should not be neglectful of his duty. He has a, he has a, a wife. He should take care of his wife, protect her, give her help in Krishna consciousness. 
पत्नी को सुरक्षा देना चाहिए उसको मदद करना चाहिए कृष्ण भक्ति बढ़ाने में and he has if he has children he wants to also see the children also become krishna conscious ar agar unke koi santan hai to fir unko ye bhi dekhna chahiye ki santan bhi krishna bhavna bhavit ho that's the real duty don't become a husband unless you can deliver your wife from birth and death to ye ek pati ka asli zimmedari hai aap pati mat bani agar aap apni patni ko is jan mrityu ke chakkar se Don't become a father unless you can deliver the children from birth and death. आप पिता मत बनिए अगर आप अपने बच्चों को जन्म मृत्यु से नहीं बचा सकते. That is the the real duty. ये असली duty है. Marriage next question is uh, how to increase our uh, attachment uh, towards Hari Nam Sankirtan. Uh, Hari Nam Sankirtan में अपने रुचि कैसे बढ़ाएं? by going out there and doing hari naam sankirtan hari naam mein ruchi badhane ke liye bahar nikal ke aapko hari naam karna chahiye just by taking part in the sankirtan program sankirtan mein bhag lene se hi sankirtan mein ruchi badhega you have to organize it call people together and make and do sankirtan aapko usko vyavasthit karna chahiye logo ko bulana chahiye aur sankirtan karna chahiye and if nobody wants to come then go on your own and do it अगर कोई नहीं है साथ जाने वाला तो अकेले निकल जाइए लॉर्ड चैतन्य वॉज गोइंग इन बनारस ऑन बनारस में चैतन्य महाप्रभु अकेले ही निकलते थे जब कीर्तन करते हुए लॉर्ड चैतन्य वॉज गोइंग ऑल ओवर इंडिया चैंटिंग एंड डांसिंग ही वॉज अलोन डिट वरी चैतन्य महाप्रभु पूरे भारत में भ्रमण कर रहे थे हर जगह कीर्तन और नृत्य करते हुए वो किसी की चिंता नहीं करते थे So you can do sankirtan on your own. If people come and join you, then very nice. So आप खुद से sankirtan कर सकते हो अगर लोग आपके साथ आ जाएं कीर्तन करने के लिए तो बहुत अच्छी बात है. Sometimes people would come and join and chant with Mahaprabhu. कुछ बार लोग आते थे जब चैतन्य महाप्रभु थे तो कुछ कई बार लोग आते थे और उनको उनके साथ करते थे कीर्तन. And sometimes he would just be on his own. Sometimes the Maya Vadi Sanyasis and the Buddhists they would say, "Oh, he's a sahaja, he's a sentimentalist." Yeah, कई बार Maya Vadi Sanyasi, Buddhist लोग ये सब कहते थे कि ये ऐसे ही sentimental है, पागल है. But Mahaprabhu didn't worry. He kept chanting and dancing. लेकिन चतुर्ने महापुरुष ने उसकी चिंता नहीं की. वो अपना नित्य और कीर्तन करते रहे. And yes, Prabhu. Yes. Yeah. तो आज का टाइम नहीं उनका उनका रिस्पेक्ट Uh, own way to to practice something which is which is maybe different than Krishna consciousness. So I think it is good that I am letting her do what she wants. I am and she she is respecting me by letting me do what I want. So is it so? Am I a good husband or not? Yes, if if you can deliver yourself, and if you if she follows you, if she follows you, then you and if you can deliver your own self. And your wife follows you, then she will be delivered. So, Maharaj, if you are ready to go to the Bhagavad Gita, and if your wife follows you completely, then she will be delivered. Yes, that is correct. 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 Her own some other processes. She she is not a, she is not practicing Krishna consciousness. I I am a Krishna devotee, but she is not, and she wants to pursue her own 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 oh, things. Okay, yeah, let her do it. Karne di.
You can go back to Godhead on your own. <laughs> yes, Maharaji. Okay. So why why Radha Rani's lotus feet is not made visible throughout the year? We can see Krishna's feet. I don't know the reason. But that's a, just, there's a one day I think when they show the feet, right? Maharaj कह रहे कि मुझे पता नहीं है ऐसा उत्तर हाँ यस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर योर वंडरफुल लेक्चर सो महाराज माय क्वेश्चन वाज यू हैव टोल्ड इफ अ वुमन गोट मिस कैरिज इन वेदी कल्चर द हस्बैंड कैन गो एंड सेल टू द किंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ यू सी गोट मिस कैरिज but if we will see it, it is completely natural that he sees that he miscarriage. And what is the fault of the king and how he will protect the hope of the mother? So, the question is that the king of Brahman has told me that what can a king do if there is a king of Brahman who is a king of Brahman who is a king of Brahman who is a king of Brahman so what can he do? This is a Sabhavik thing. Well, it's bad, bad karma that the child was born in the womb and then dies at birth. That's a, it's some kind of karma, right? That's karma that's the causing the sudden death of the child, premature death, early death. Just after coming from the womb, the child dies. That's unnatural. It's due to bad karma. And why the living entities have bad karma? Well, but because they take birth in a particular kingdom and the, the king is there, he's meant to protect all the people from the karma and he's meant to keep them all religious and following the principles of religion. And if they're not following the principles of religion, then they get karma. So the brahmana was blaming the king that you're not protecting the people because my child just died at birth so you're the king you're supposed to protect the, the karmic situation you're supposed to make our country pious and religious so that everything will be good and auspicious but it's not because my child has died at birth so तो मार्ग बता रहे कि जो शत्रुय राजा है उसका जिम्मेवारी ये है कि वो पूरी प्रजा की जो कार्मिक स्थिति है उसको धार्मिक वातावरण बना के उसको अच्छा था अच्छा कार्मिक स्थिति उसका रखते हैं राजा जो अच्छे जो धर्म परायण राजा हैं अगर प्रजा में इस तरह का चीजें हो रहा है कि बच्चा पैदा होते ही मर गया इसका उसका उसका कर्तव्य है कि वो कार्मिक स्थिति को अच्छा बनाए तो इसलिए ये राजा का गलती है कि वो उसने ऐसी कार्मिक स्थिति नहीं बनाई अपने राज्य में कि और लोग ऐसी स्थिति में अभी तक पड़े हैं जिससे वो ऐसे घटनाएं हो रही तो इसलिए वो उन्होंने राजा के चैलेंज सो व्हेन द किंग इज गुड देन द किंगडम विल फ्लरिश जब राजा अच्छा है तो पूरा राज्य जो है वो फूले फलेगा एंड व्हेन यू हैव अ बैड किंग अ करप्ट किंग then the whole country, the whole kingdom will be in difficulty. So 
So this Brahmana was saying to the, the, to the king that you, you must be something wrong in our kingdom, that my child is dead, dead at birth. Everything which happens, there's a reason for it. So the ruler is responsible for everything which happens. Hmm. Yeah, so? Yeah? Then how the king was responsible if Mahavishnu was doing it intentionally? So, Prabhupada's question is that you were telling Mahavishnu so Lord Krishna went there, he brought the children back and he gave them to the Brahmana. So they adjusted the situation. It was a special situation. The Lord Mahavishnu wanted to meet Nara Narayan. Krishna and Arjuna were Nara Narayan. So he wanted to see them. So they went there and he saw them and they brought back the Brahmana's children and they gave the Brahmana his children. So this is a Okay. Yes. Any other question? So, so Maharaj, the question is why Gopis worship uh, Katyayani and Mother Sita also worshipped uh, um, Gauri uh, and Rukmini also worshipped. They, they already are so much attached to Krishna. Why they need to worship? Well, the gopis worshipped Katyayani to get Krishna for a husband. That was allowed. That was to get Krishna. To please, it's for Krishna's pleasure. Rukmini went to the temple of Durga. It was just a ritual before her marriage. But it was an arrangement so that Krishna could kidnap her at that time. Because it was the only time she was coming out to the palace. So it was a convenient situation for Krishna to take her away. Mother Sita, she specifically worshipped uh, Mother Gauri and uh, all the, so. Well, Lord Rama also would worship Lord Shiva before he went to Lanka, right? Lord Ramachandra worshipped Lord Shiva and they asked Prabhupada why he worshipped Lord Shiva. He said, he's telling Lord Shiva, I'm going to kill your devotee. <laughs> So, 
But Ramcharit Manas is not the actual authorized version of Ramayana. You should read Valmiki Ramayana. So Ramcharitmanas Jaya Ramayan ka Pramanik Pustakni. Agarapu Ramayan Purna, so Valmiki Ramayan Purdy. Yes, Prabhu. The, well, Sudama is in Dwarka, right? Sudama is in Dwarka Leela. But you're asking about what was it? So, so he says, Maharaj, like Arjuna is the best among the friends of Krishna. But he's an most... example of someone who achieved perfection. Yeah, Maharaj. So he says that most people talk about Sudama as a friend of Krishna, not Arjuna so much. Yes, well, Sudama is also a friend of Krishna, but it's just, it's not quite like Arjuna. It's much more intimacy because Sudama, I remember he's a, the, it, it, he was a Brahmana. The Lord Krishna respects the Brahmanas. He offers the respects. He worships Sudama because he's a Brahmana. But with Arjuna, there was much more intimacy, much more dealing there between Krishna and Arjuna. There was much more uh, friendship there. And we see how Krishna would come and help Arjuna in difficulties. So Dhamma, it just happened. Of course, there was some friendship there, the incident that they were in the Gurukula together. And they went out and they collected wood together. And that night they couldn't get back to the ashram. And Krishna and Sudama spent the night in the forest together. So, Maharaj Bhattare ki Sudama bhi Bhagawan ke mitra hai. Lekin Arjun ke saath jo Bhagawan ka lila hai, wo alag ki tarai ka hai. Sudama Brahman the. Aur Bhagawan ko Brahman wala bhi jo but after the Guru Kula, they, they only met that one time when Sudama came there to Dwarka. But with the Pandavas and Lord Krishna, there was much more dealings, there was much more connection between the two of them. Is there a written question? Is there a lady? Is question, Madhaji? No. What? Uh, there is a written question. Yeah. Uh, what kind of uh, devotees, Maharaj, they, they, they are eligible to know the Swarup Siddhi? <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to know your Swarup Siddhi, your Das, Dashya. We're all Dashya. We're all servants of Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Gopi Bhartupada Kamalayor Dasta. We're all servants of Krishna. That's the Swarup you need to know. We want to know more, you have to become pure. You have to be free of, you have to come to the level of bhava and prema. You have to get rid of all the 
attachments to the material world. You have to become free of the modes of nature. Then Krishna can reveal these things to us. But even Prabhupada would not tell us. He said, well, if we would ask Prabhupada, what is your Swarup? He would say, you don't need that. So just you just understand you are the servant of Krishna. Once you understand that, then Krishna may reveal more to you. But until we become fixed in the mood of being the servant, then we will never understand anymore. It's a very high, very elevated thing. Okay. We'll go. Yeah. One one one. Hare Krishna, Dhan Dhan Maharaj, Yes, Hare Krishna, Maharaj, Dhan Dhan Maharaj, हमें पता है कि वक्ति ही श्रेष्ठ है लाइफ के लिए. फिर भी जबरदस्ती हमें भौतिक दुनिया में काम करना पड़ता है तो इसे बैलेंस कैसे करें महाराज सो महाराज वी नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट भक्ति इज द ओनली थिंग व्हिच इज बेस्ट फॉर अस एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी शुड बी प्रैक्टिसिंग बट वी आर सो मच स्टक अप इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड सो एंड द रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज हाउ डू वी बैलेंस well, you have to understand that bhakti is so important. You, just like a train goes on two tracks, you have to take care of your material, you also have to take care of the spiritual. If you just go on one track, you can easily turn over the train. So you need both the material, you have to take care of your material responsibility, you also have to take care of the spiritual side of life. You have to have some time to chant and to worship Krishna. You cannot say, oh, I have no time. That is not acceptable. You must have some time. Some time to work, some time to worship Krishna. You cannot say, I have no time to chant. No, you have time to eat. You have time to sleep. You have time for many other things. When it comes to chanting, oh, I have no time, I'm so busy. <coughs> okay, so. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, my, Agasura, so all the gopas they went to inside Agasura. Why Krishna did not uh, shut his mouth 
before and kill him before because they had to go and get suffocated and they were hot foul smell inside so maybe krishna could have <laughs> but you have to appreciate krishna is the supreme lord and he allows his pastimes it's his pastime he wants to please the devotees give pleasure to the devotees so aapko ye samajhna hoga ki krishna param bhagwan hai aur bhagwan aisi leelaen kar rahe hain apne bhakton ko aanand dene ke liye ki bhagwan ki leela the cowherd boys wanted to go into agasura they wanted to go in there jo bhagwan ke gop sakha the wo andar jaake dekhna chahte the kya hai so krishna no no oh, what to, okay what to do some krishna's but krishna is there to protect the devotees so even though they went inside even though it was so horrible so krishna saved them and so we just think how wonderful krishna is we don't think why did krishna do this why didn't he do that we just should, should only think how wonderful krishna is aap bhi kehte rehte ho ki krishna ne ye kyun nahi kiya wo kyun nahi kiya aap ye dekho ki krishna kitne mahan hai kitna wonderful you cannot be saying oh why he did that no oh, you shouldn't do that you should do like this. no he is the supreme lord we just have to hear about krishna aap bas aap kabhi yahi kehte rehte hain ki ye kyun nahi kiya krishna aisa kyun nahi kiya ye karna chahiye tha wo param bhagwan hai we can never understand krishna's mind why he did this why he did that we will never understand hum kabhi krishna ke man ko samajh nahi sakte krishna aisa kyun kiya wo kya hum kabhi nahi samajh paaye but we have to just surrender to krishna hame bas bhagwan ko sharnagat karna chahiye and we should think krishna is so great he is so wonderful aur hame sochna chahiye krishna itne mahan hai i should be his servant aur mujhe uska das banna hai just let me serve krishna aap bas mujhe bhagwan ki seva karni hai okay thank you very much hari krishna hari krishna